Hey everyone, welcome to episode one of our Anatomy of a Chocolate Chip Cookie series. And today we're making this wafer thin, crispy, beautiful chocolate chip cookie. So this is a pretty basic chocolate chip cookie. For this recipe, you're going to need flour, granulated sugar, brown sugar, butter, vanilla, egg, salt, and baking soda. So this is the perfect cookie for someone who likes them wafer thin and crispy. I'm not usually a real fan of these, but I kind of like this. I kind of like this a lot. So the first thing you need to do is weigh the butter right into the mixing bowl. I know, I know, most of you guys want volume measurements in cups and teaspoons. All of that information is in the recipe. It's also there in metric, and I'm also giving you baker's percentages so that you have full power to make this recipe whatever you want. Now you start creaming the butter to soften it up while you weigh out the two sugars. Now you add the sugars to the butter and you start creaming it. And this is where I would normally tell you to really cream it well. But one of the, um, one of the secrets to getting a cookie this thin is to only sort of cream it. You want to cream the butter and the sugars together to mix them, but not so long that it's really light and fluffy. And that's the first step to getting a cookie like this. Well, that's creaming together, weigh out the flour, Add the salt. And the baking soda. Now the baking soda is the second trick to getting a cookie this thin. Um, this particular recipe has a baking soda percentage or a baking soda amount that is higher than the average chocolate chip cookie. So the effect of baking soda is threefold. It inhibits gluten formation, which, um, which helps the cookie be this thin. Uh, speeds the Maillard reaction, which helps the cookie get so dark and crispy. And the third effect is it tenderizes, but you know, uh, this is so thin and crispy, tenderness really doesn't matter. Now with the mixer running, add in the vanilla and the egg. Now, a very important key overlooked step is scrape down the bowl. Even if you have a mixer like ours that has a little scraper on the paddle, you still need to scrape down the bowl, scrape up the bottom, make sure it gets all mixed together. As soon as the egg is incorporated into that batter, spoon in your flour mixture, and you only want to mix the flour until it disappears. Don't overmix it. Um, that just causes other problems down the line. Oh, and make sure the mixer's on low so that the flour doesn't go everywhere. Take the bowl off the mixer and with a rubber spatula, give it a little bit of a mix and then stir in the chocolate chips. Now, if it's a really hot day and your dough is really loose, maybe stick it in the fridge for 15, 20 minutes uh, just to firm it up a little bit before you portion it out and put it onto the baking tray. Of course, if you can leave it in the fridge overnight or for 24 hours before you bake them, um, your flavor is going to be so much better. But who can wait that long? I can. Now when you're portioning out your cookies, I used a fairly small ice cream scoop. Uh, you could use a much larger one if you wanted, depends what size cookies you want. Um, and of course, you can use a spoon. Spoon works just fine. Toss those in the oven and uh, bake them until they're cooked. Um, Depending on your oven, that could take somewhere between 12 and 15 minutes. Uh, pull them out, let them cool a little bit on the baking sheet, and then move them to a wire rack to cool completely. These are great cookies. I really like them. Um, but then, as you're going to see if you continue watching this series, I pretty much like any cookie. 
Um, so give these a try. And if you don't like this style of cookie, check out one of our other chocolate chip cookie recipes in this playlist.